Samoa and the Māori All Blacks are playing this Saturday, 7.05pm. It's in Wellington. Uh, no crowd for this one, Gezza, because of the COVID, no no. COVID restrictions. But, um, yeah, have you had a chance to have a look through the, the Māori All Blacks uh, lineup? I've had a chance to look at the Māori All Blacks. I haven't had a chance to look. I don't know really much about the Manu Samoa team. I think the uh, Māori team's pretty good. They've got a lot of... Uh, Super players in there. Um, it's a fairly, it's a very strong squad actually. Uh, they would, uh, they'll certainly uh, hold their own against Samoa. Um, I don't want to say too much about Samoa because I don't really know how good they are. Mm. But um, if I know Polynesian teams, they will bring everything they've got to the table. Mm. Um, I would. I'm not being arrogant here, but I would, would be expecting the Marys to win. By how much, um, I wouldn't want to comment on because it could be close or it could be a bit of a blowout. But either way, either way, it'll be a lot of um, running rugby. Mm. A lot of running rugby. That's what everyone wants to see. Absolutely. Front row, Racket to Stones, Dixon and Honick. They should be able to do a job. Yep. Second row, Selby Rickett and Walker Lear. We didn't see that much of Selby Rickett in the Super nah, Rugby. Nah, they're very good blocks, so. Was Selby Rickett injured or was he just nah, not selected? Yeah, he was injured. He was injured? Game, okay, yeah. okay. Uh, and then you've got Prince Ep Harmon and Douglas. Yeah, those, those guys, very good loose forwards. Harmon certainly gets through a lot of tackles. Hall and Black, you like them at 9 and yeah. 10? Yeah, I love them at that. Yeah. Black's his last kind of campaign before he heads off to yes, Japan. So he true. said he's yeah, looking yeah. forward to a good run. 12 and 13's Nankervell and Proctor. Yeah, actually, to be honest, I think that uh, since we're short in the midfield for the All Blacks, uh, if they had a string of injuries... To be honest, these guys are both very solid performers. They're young, enthusiastic, and they would be the next to be called up for the All Blacks if there were a lot of injuries in the midfield. Sure, we are looking short because Goodhue's out, Lamapu's off to France, mm -hmm. um, ALB's out for a little while. Wainui Stevenson and Trask are the wingers and yeah, fullback. Consistently good performers, yep. Mm. Mm. On the bench, you've got Tamaiti Williams. He should have a good run. Interestingly, yep. Eklund and Dixon, the two hookers, were probably the two yeah, form yeah, guys in yeah, trans Tasman. Yeah, they were really good. Yeah. My thoughts. Um, Knox on the bench. Josh Iwane is on the bench. So it's a pretty strong That's team, a good, really. strong reserve, reserve um, bench here. Even though there's a couple of uh, new guys there, they've played super rugby, so they should be fairly right, mm. fairly, fairly strong on the bench. Mm. That's a good squad, actually. Yeah. Samoa, they've got Albert Anai. He's been over in Australia, done his time in Japan. Uh, but I think it's his debut. And Kalolo Tuiloma, I think he yeah, used to play. Yeah. He used to play with counties. He's a big boy. He's about yeah, 140 yeah, kilos. Yeah. I like their coach. Their coach. Uh, Mapusua. Yeah, mm. he's a very good coach. He'll have the guys firing. They'll, be, they'll do well. Nuiya is their hooker, blues man. Yeah. He, he should good. be a good performer. Yeah. Good uh, to see him up against Dixon. Uh, they got Nini and Slade as their locks. I think Slade's also played for Counties. Henry Stowers is from the Brumbies. He's yeah. playing blindside. He's a bit of a big unit, so he's one to look out for. Yep. Jack Lamb's captain, 33. Yep. I think he hasn't played rugby for a wee while. I heard he was over in Japan. He's over and in he's Japan. just come back. Those um, guys will give a good account of themselves. They got a debutant at number eight. Never heard of him apart from when I saw the squad name. That's Elijah Juan Noah. I don't no, really I don't know, know anything about him. Uh, Dwayne Polotovao is halfback. He's been around the block before. Yep. They made an interesting call at ten. They got this guy Rodney Iona. He's played with the Brumbies, like wider training squad. Yeah, he's been with the Rebels. I thought he was more of a centre, but he's apparently been playing at 10. Uh, Tefu and Filippo. Lossi Filippo is that guy who got a conviction a few years ago yeah, that's right. in in Wellington. Yeah. For... He's a very good player, though. He's played for the Lions, Wellington Lions. Yeah. Has he been playing Mota 10 Cup? Oh, I'm not sure. And I, I haven't seen him for two years. Yeah, for that, he's kind of fallen away from the scene. And then they got a couple of sevens guys in the back three, Vaili and Alessio. I don't know much about them. Uh, another debutant, Formai. So all up. They've got seven debutants in the starting 15 and four debutants on the bench. So experience may be a bit lacking, but I guess it's a good warm-up. Enthusiasm warm they will be. They'll bring an enthusiastic approach to the game. Mm. Good warm-up for them, I guess, because they're playing Tonga and those Rugby World Cup qualifiers yeah, yeah. a bit later. So they got Michael Alalatoa on the bench. I think he is going to be captain, but yeah. for this game, he is... Yeah, he's a very good player. He's behind, so... The bookies, the TAB, have got the Māori All Blacks by 24 points. Oh, it could be right. It, uh, yeah, with yeah, I think um, I 
every time I've seen a Samoan rugby team, they play, they like to play hard up front and they like to spin the ball. They might make a few mistakes and give away a lot of points, but the one thing is they're very entertaining. For sure. For sure. All right, well, despite the fact there's no crowd, it should still be a pretty entertaining one. Like I mentioned, it's on Sky. It's on at 7.05 on uh, this weekend. Yeah, as Gaza said, I think the Māori All Blacks pretty big favourites as evidenced by the bookies' odds. So, But yeah, a lot of debutants for Samoa. Hopefully it's a good growing opportunity for them and yeah. then they'll come out of it. They might be experimenting a bit before they go to the World Cup and giving some of these guys a uh, more exposure. Exactly right. And they are actually a little bit hamstrung because they weren't able to get some of their guys back from Europe yeah, because true. of the, the yeah. COVID regulations. They'll have them for the World Cup. Yeah, exactly. Alrighty. Cheers, Gaza. And um, I'll talk to you guys again soon. See ya. Yep, see ya.